we get older, it's important to stay active, stretching not only your body, but also your brain. Come along with me tonight to an improv class in Bankers Hill where seniors are the stars on stage. Toss aside those new scripts. I'm here at Unscripted Learning, part of National Comedy Theater, where local seniors are studying improv to improve their active minds. My name's Ron Roney. Every Wednesday. My name is Mary May. These seniors step on stage and put their minds to work. I'm the queen. Get your hands off me, she said. <laughs> Just give me a pass on this one, can't you guys? <laughs> Clever and quick-witted. Artificial is artificial. <laughs> this is a dynamic group. They found that there would be even more cheese. It keeps your mind active, and even during the week, you're constantly thinking of, oh, how can I, you know, what can I do to come up with a character or something like that? We have the mighty oracle visiting us. Here, age is just a number. I'm 86. Wow. Excuse me, I think you do. I feel like I'm 19, I don't know, you know. Try to remember the names um, of the people. Dave George leads this improv class called Active Minds. You're bringing whatever your gift is to bring forward and share, and we're all respecting it and adding our gift to it. And that's how you make a whole story. The games often take on a life of their own. When they invited me up on stage to give it a try. What do you guys, do you want circle? I was a little nervous at first. Quietly, the guards approached from behind to kidnap the queen. But this was so fun. Yay. <laughs> what does it do for you to come weekly to class? We get to be completely silly and create different characters from who we are. It's blended with things from throughout the moors. And just kind of let out your frustrations. Your... All right, let's get your attention, please. Your energy. Yeah. Isabella de Giorno. Your excitement. Is you come here and it's a safe environment. Nobody is going to say you've done a dopey thing. I'm going to make a beautiful fricassee out of this pterodactyl. You can make a terrible mistake and it doesn't matter. Ask for a question. <laughs> <laughs> I just look forward to coming here on Wednesdays for my two hours of being with these amazing people. And I leave just feeling elevated, full of ready to go out and take on the world. And the many lessons learned. They have no idea what I have in store for them. Extend far beyond <laughs> this unconventional classroom. And Improvisation is not a bad way to go around in the world. Right. Right. You're not critical of people, and there's no judgment, and it, uh, it, I think it enables people to get along a little better. Yeah. Back to you. I had so much fun. The Active Minds class meets once a week on Wednesdays, but they're starting a new class on Thursdays in March. Visit our website, cbs8.com, click on the help button to learn more. And you know, Carla, most of the people that I met are retired, a few still work, but they come from a diverse professional background, a former paralegal, court reporter, drug and alcohol counselor, special needs teacher, just, just so many different backgrounds coming together to have fun once a week, and they say you don't need any experience acting, you just need to not take yourself so seriously. And we know that that has so many elements about, uh, for aging healthy, mm -hmm. you know, it's got the social, it's got endorphins yes. going, you're you're laughing, you're engaging with people. It's a puzzle your brain is trying it to figure is. out. That's what improv improvisation yes. is. All these things are key to aging well, especially brain health, and it's beautiful to see. It uh, was, such a fun way to do it. It was wonderful that, that one exercise in a circle, everyone starts the story with the next letter of the alphabet. So you're listening to the story, but you're also thinking about the letter that you have to start with next, and if you have the Q, that's the hardest. So it just was really neat, and I felt really stimulated after. Uh, all right, so just besides learning how hard it is to do improvisation, what else did you get out of this? Oh, just, you know, just get out there, be social, listen. It's really important to listen. What'd you say? <laughs> cool story, great group of people, all right.